99 rebounding, 99 block, 99 standing dunk, 90 driving dunk, 70 three pointer, 30 defensive badges, 18 finishing badges, 19 shooting. This build is ridiculous. What is good, YouTube? It's your boy Henry, aka Double HD, and I'm back in the building with yet another banger. Now, I'm gonna be showing by far the three best center builds in today's video. Don't worry, centers, I got y'all back. But I'm gonna need y'all to drop a like on the video, subscribe to the channel, and then once you do both of those things, comment done when you guys are done. I wanna see how many people are subbed and liked this video, okay? But if you're a center watching this video, if you have any guard friends, or maybe your duo is a guard or something, you need to like the video for them, and you need to tell them to come watch this video and drop a like because if once this video gets to 8,000 likes i will be dropping a dribble tutorial as you can see in the background gameplay i've been having fun with the dribbling i can do a basic dribble tutorial advanced dribble tutorial whatever y'all want but in today's video i'm going to be showing two shooting center builds one inside center build and at the end of the video i'm going to be showing be the best bad is for these big man builds and trust me do not skip throughout this video Please don't, because I'm going to be showing valid points throughout these builds on why I did this, that, and the third, and maybe different routes you can take with these builds. So make sure you are paying attention during this video. Now, once again, make sure to drop a like, subscribe to the channel, 300,000 subscribers. I'm trying to get to 300K before 2K21 drops on September 4th. That's been a goal of mine for about five months now. So hopefully we can do it, but yeah, do your boy a favor and drop us up. But anyways, let's stop wasting y'all time and let's get straight into the video, man. Let's get it. Okay, guys, I'm about to make the three best center builds in NBA 2K21. Shout out to all my centers out there. If you are a center, drop a like on the video right now. But anyways, we're going to first do an inside center. This is the best inside center build. And then we're going to do two outside center builds. I'm going to give you guys a lot of options. Don't skip through this video. I'm going to tell you guys a lot of different things you can do with the build. So yeah, make sure you pay attention and listen. But anyways, you're going to go with power forward left hand. This is going to be the inside center right here. Now the pie chart, there's two different pie charts this year. There's this one that gives more defense. Um, there's or in a little shooting there's this one that's all defense and then the shooting one right here but anyways we're doing it inside so we're going to do this one so the all red pie chart now when it comes to the physical profile this is very important okay you can go with the speed pie chart but the best pie chart is right here you take a minus three speed from the, the speed pie chart but you get a plus 12 vertical now i know what you're saying oh it's not gonna have a lot of strength but in past 2ks especially last year's strength was not important at all and if you do think strength is important then that's fine go with this pie chart right below it okay so if you do think strength is important go with this pie chart okay i don't think it's going to be important so that's what i'm going to go show you guys this one but on this one right here you're going to end up getting like a 90 plus strength so you can go with this physical pie chart and upgrade it the same way i do so if you do think strength is important go with that i'm going to be going with this this is the vertical speed pie chart and by the way you're probably wondering why do i need vertical vertical helps a lot on defense with blocking shots and a lot on rebounding it's huge for rebounding but anyways you're going to start by upgrading and maxing out everything in the defensive category just max out everything then you're going to go to the driving max out literally everything and then you're going to put down your post hook until you don't have 18. So I'm going to put it up to a 60 post hook. I have 18 finishing and 30 defense. Now you can really put these 42 attributes anywhere you want. I would not put it in shooting because you're not going to need shooting. There's no, you're not going to be able to shoot with one shooting badge. And you can't get more than one shooting badge, obviously. Now, I would go with ball handle, max ball handle, because you, know, you may as well just dis decrease the chances of your turnovers right so max the ball handle and then max your pass accuracy so you don't be throwing ball the ball out of bounds and maybe you can throw some backdoor lobs to your guard or if you want to you can even max out post moves so you can spin down to the basket easier i don't know but i'm i would i'm just gonna go with this right here but it's really up to you you can really upgrade anything but anyways after that you're gonna go want to go with burly burly is the body shape you have if you don't go burly you're trolling you want to be as big as possible as a center now when it comes to the height i already know i'm gonna get a lot of comments about this height right here but i'm gonna tell you right now if you make a 610 or taller center build this year you're not it's just not gonna be good okay you might be good you know what i'm saying i'm not gonna say you're just trash at the game if you make that build but you could be so much better if you make a 6'9 
or a 6'8". I'm going to tell you right now, those are the two heights. All the good centers, all the top centers in the game are making 6'8 centers and 6'9 centers. That's the new way for NBA 2K21. But anyways, for this inside center build, we're going to go for a 6'9", okay? So the default height. And then when it comes to weight, just look at my physicals. That's all we're looking at here. So I'm going to put up my weight until my speed goes down. So you can either go 240 or you can go 247 or you can go 254 it's really up to you um to be honest the best height the best weight is probably 244 or um 240 i'm gonna go with 240 to get that extra speed and then when it comes to wingspan max it out there's no other option max your wingspan out you're an inside center you can't shoot it's max or you're like you're trolling if you don't go max but look at my stats right now so you got to remember Take in the fact that we're going to have plus four to all of our attributes when we hit 99 overall. And by the way, that was confirmed in one of Agent Zero's recent videos. And you're also going to have another plus four to your physicals when you get the Gatorade. So that's plus eight to all your physicals and plus four to all your attributes. So I'm going to have an 80 speed, a 92 vertical, a 71 strength, a 77 acceleration with a 99 standing dunk, a 90 driving dunk. So I get all the contact dunks. This is basically an interior finisher we're looking at with max defense. Then I have 99 defense rebound, 99 offense rebound, 99 block. 84 steel 79 lateral and 79 perimeter allowing me to pick up on screens and guard guards even guard iso and 90 interior defense bro this build is the best center build when it comes to inside now i'm going go glass takeover glass takeover is the best takeover you know some pe people might disagree but glass takeover is the best takeover i would go with glass and this is what you're going to end up getting you're going to be getting the paint beast build okay this is compared to Giannis, anthony davis dennis Rodman. this is the best inside center build okay i'm back at the builder creator we're going to be doing two different shooting center builds i know a lot of you guys are confused on the shooting bigs especially with the new shooting and stuff but trust me your boy double h has got you i'm going to give you guys two options for shooting bigs and oh boy ah uh, they definitely the best ones i'm not gonna lie so for the first one, you're actually going to go center. Yeah, I know. A lot of people are going power forward, but this one's actually going to be a center. Now, when it comes to the pie chart, a lot of people are picking this new pie chart. Trust me, that's not the way, okay? You're going to want to go with the basic green-red pie chart. When it comes to the physical, we're going to be using the same physical we used on our inside center. But now, once again, you, won't, you think strength is going to be important? Pick that bottom one, but I don't think it's going to be important. Now, when it comes to upgrading this player, you're going to max the close shot max the driving layup max the driving dunk and max the driving dunk i mean the standing dunk and that's going to give us six finishing badges now when it comes to shooting max the mid-range max the three-pointer max the, the free throw max the post fade and then you can either put the free throw down or the post fade down either way you're going to have the same attributes remaining i'm going to put the free throw down and you're going to have 19 shooting bet max both of the rebounding max the block max the interior defense max lateral max perimeter max interior defense 18 shooting badges and 21 defensive badges the only thing you're not upgrading in defense is steel um and if you really wanted to you can go and max out the steel but you're not going to get that many defensive badges and you're going to lose something on shooting and driving but overall here's the badge setup we have 6 8 1 21 and then you're going to go ahead and pick the body shape definitely go burly once again if you're not picking burly on your center build you're trolling then the height now this is a big deal right here once again we're gonna go again with six now the last center build is gonna be a different height than this but this one is gonna be six foot nine and then weight you're gonna want to go all the way to 251 pounds so you can get your max speed your max vertical while also getting a little more strength and then the wingspan max the wingspan out okay max it out now look at this build this look, build is looking very solid as a shooting big man build at six foot nine you're gonna have a 92 standing or actually an 88 standing dunk at 99 so that's gonna get contact or big man contact dunk 76 driving dunk a 71 three-pointer 75 mid-range you have a 94 block with an 85 offense rebound 93 defense rebound 83 interior defense you're gonna have up to an 81 vertical with a 74 speed this is a w center build for sure glass cleaning takeover once again and this is going to come out to be the glass cleaner compared to Ben Wallace, Capella, and DeAndre Ayton. Now, this last center build I'm about to show you is probably 
I think, better than this one, 100%. Okay, now this center build is super glitchy. So we gave you the best inside center build. We gave you a good shooting center build, but this one's going to be a power forward left hand. Now this is going to be a 6'8 shooting center. So if you really want to have the 6'9, then go with the first shooting center option. Now we're going to go with the same pie charts. I'm telling you, bro. <laughs> I really think this is definitely the best shooting build super glitchy build now with this you're gonna max your standing dunk max your driving dunk max your driving lab and then you're gonna put your close shot up to a 76 which is gonna give us six finishing badges just like the last one then we're gonna max the mid-range max the three-pointer max the free throw and max the post fade we we can also put down the free throw either way it gives us the same amount of attribute upgrades so we're gonna put down the free throw too skip the playmaking again max the interior defense max the perimeter max the lateral max the block max the offensive rebound max the defensive rebound now i purposely left this extra eight attribute upgrades left because you can do whatever you want with this you can either if you want the steal put it up to 50 you're not going to get any extra badges you won't get any other ba extra badges putting anything on playmaking or shooting but if you want to, you can put the extra eight on close shot and get an extra two finishing badges. So this build actually gets one less defense than the other shooting one, but two more finishing. But anyways, we're going to go ahead, pick the burly body type. Once again, definitely the best body shape for a center. And then with the height, this is going to be our smallest center of the video, but it's going to be six, eight. Okay. So you're going to go with six, eight. And then you're going to put your weight to 250 pounds. This is right before the cutoff when you lose another speed. And you don't lose any vertical on this as well. And you get some interior defense. So you're going to go 250 pounds. And then you are going to max the wingspan. Now, here's the catch. Okay. This is why this center build might, in my opinion, is better than the other shooting center build. Now, first of all, your three-pointer is higher. At 99 overall, we're going to have enough standing dunk an 87 standing dunk to get big man contact dunks just like the other shooting center build we're gonna have a 78 driving dunk we're gonna have a 74 3 a 77 mid range with an 88 defensive rebound 79 offense 87 block 78 lateral 78 perimeter enough to guard guards and guard iso and pick up on screens but not only that at max wingspan we can get another takeover that is sharp shooting takeover so if you want sharp shooting takeover on a shooting big this is definitely the one i think this is a crazy build i'm not gonna lie this is definitely a nice build and it's even called a three level score so compared to jason collins jaron jackson jr and kenyon martin but the thing about this this is like a clickbait build like people are gonna see three level score and they're gonna think you have no defense meanwhile you're rocking 20 hall of fame defensive badges with these crazy defensive stats this center build is 100% a W. Now, I'm just going to do the baddest for all the center builds at once. I'm just going to really talk about baddest now. For the most, I'm just going to give you guys the most important finishing baddest you need on a center. I know the first center build had a lot of finishing baddest and the other two didn't have as much, but here you all go. Contact finisher is going to be a must on these builds, especially since the first one gets contact dunks. If fancy footwork is good again, you're definitely going to want to use that. And then slithery finisher, consistent finisher, both other good baddest. And then if you have extra ones, you know, lob city finisher is going to be a good one deep hooks back down punisher you know you could really put have a lot of options here pro touch but i'd say the most important one is definitely contact finisher make sure you max that out and then fancy consistent slithery are the next three important ones now when it comes to the shooting badges on your shooting center build okay they both have basically the same shooting badges you're gonna want to go with green machine catch and shoot range extender hot zone hunter and then the rest now this is all you need to shoot but the rest you can play around with if you want pick and popper or if you want dead eye or you want corner specials you could play around with it but i would put it on gold dead eye or maybe even silver dead eye and bronze corner specials but i'm going with dead eye this is definitely the best shooting bad setup for a center and then playmaking just put it on quick first step on all three of these builds 100 the best one and then defense now we've got word that pogo stick got nerfed we also got word that Intimidator was adjusted, but I'm not gonna lie, no matter what, you're gonna need at least Bronze Box, you're gonna need Hall of Fame Rebound Chaser, Hall of Fame Rim Protector. You might even wanna throw on Worm. I would put on Bronze Clamps on all these builds to pick up on guards. Intimidator is gonna be a must. Brick Wall is gonna be a must. And then you can go a lot of different ways. You can go Worm, you can go Pogo, you can even go Post Move Lockdown. 
but I would say these are the main badges that you need right here for sure. Okay, y'all, so those are my top three center builds. Now, once again, this is my opinion. If you guys have any suggestions for big man builds in the comment section, go ahead and leave those in the comments. Once again, if we get to 8,000 likes, I'm going to drop a dribble tutorial, so make sure to like the video. 300 subscribers before 2K21. I don't know. Yes, no. Comment your opinions. Can we make it? I don't know. Subscribe to the channel if you're new to help us out. But anyways, guys, it's been your boy, Henry, a.k.a. Double HDF, man. And I'm out of here, yo. I ain't never had no friends. I was all alone. She ain't never called my phone. She left me on my own. They saying all girls are the same. Proud that they're my dumb. She said, can you stay with me? No, I got a girl. Diamond dripping off my dad.